Hi there. As you know, an aligned table saw fence can produce burns and saw marks on the pieces that are cut and could lead to the potentially dangerous kickback. In this video, I will show you how to use the alignment technique in most simple way. You require no mat, no measuring, no dial gauge, just only use a simple geometric theory. So the problems above will be greatly reduced. As you know, when the fence is locked, it's sometimes wrapped out and sometimes wrapped in. If it is wrapped out, there will be less problem. But if it is wrapped in, it is a big problem. The blade can leave the piece and throw back at you. It is very dangerous. So what we have to do now is make sure this fence is parallel to the blade. And this is how to check it. Use any scrap wood on your shop in any length and wide. The longer it is, the better the result will be, but don't exceed the length of your fence. Mine is like this, uh, and this is well planned on both sides, and has a jointed edge, it is very flat, as you can see, and has a jointed edge, to make sure the test that will perform will be more accurate what we have to do now is rip this scrap in less than a half and then rip again the rest of the cut and mark each side with F and B as a reference which side is next to the blade or fence so let's we get started Make the first cut. It is done. And and then uh, mark it uh, with P, which mean blade and F which mean F fence make the second cut with no changing position of the fence get a piece of wood that you have been cut from and lay it on the fence rip once again and do the same procedure as earlier mark each side with P and F now we have to move to the next step. Now get into something flat. It can be ceramic tile, granite tile, flooring, or glass, or whatever you that you sure can provide flatness. Mine is 24 by 24 inch granite tile. It is very flat, and it is very flat. Here is the scrap that we cut earlier and has the mark on its side with F and B and then we use the F reference against the granite tile like this we jointed it as one and fill with your fingertip to fill the height difference on both cut if there is no good and then we flip it and fill it again with your fingertip for the height difference on that piece. The use of fingertip is far more efficient than measuring in this case because your skin contact can feel the height difference much better. If there is no difference in height on both sides, congratulations, your fence is truly parallel with the blade, which means it can rip accurately to a number that agrees with the size of cut you are actually making. But if there is a difference in height, then you should align your fence.